the idea of Imam W. Muhammad being a seminal mind uh, has been introduced to our people. And in the past, you you made commentary on it and uh, you pointed out how the concept is bold. Um, uh, but recently I was I was in uh, having a conversation with an imam here in Atlanta and he was defending the idea uh, by drawing a connection to uh, Imam W. Muhammad's address, uh, circumcision of the mind. Uh, and I, I just wonder how how should we understand this and respond to this? <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> you know, um, the, the the enemy of man, um, Allah says of him that. There was not ever anything that was revealed that is divine knowledge, revealed knowledge, or, or scripture, <clears throat> divine guidance, that he didn't throw something in there um, from, from his interest, from his interest, that looked similar uh, and... Um, uh person will say, well, this seems like it's related, it's it's comparable, but really it's deception. It's deception. Um Imam W. D. Muhammad uh circumcision, circumcision of the mind. Uh the, the reference to circumcision is reference to Abraham. And it's a reference to the covenant of Abraham with God. And we have to know something about Abraham. We have to know something about his mission, his determination, his um, importance, uh, uh, his how Prophet Muhammad was guided to center Abraham as a focus for the establishment of a model human personality and model human community. All of that has to be in our understanding. And so <clears throat> circumcision <clears throat> is... Um, um, disciplining and you might say uh, pairing pairing away something in the interest of um, revealing what the intended purpose of a thing is and revealing it for the purpose that God intended. It may have uses that are other than what God intended, but when it's circumcised, it means that it has been prepared for what God intended. So here comes an argument in the world that wants to say, here is its purpose. but it's off. And anything that is off from the purpose that God intended for it to be is vulgar. Now, you know, uh, our people who are victims of the plantation and also um, uh, their level of maturity in understanding 
American society and the American environment and the Western world, they can be easily tripped up by um, the false morality presented by the enemy of man. And something might sound good and sound correct, but really it represents a vulgarity and a distortion of what God intends. Um, it is given in the Quran as a recognition of Prophet Muhammad's role that he is the seal of the prophets and the messenger of God. And he is not the father of any of your men. That is a distinction that's drawn, that he is the seal of the prophets and the messenger of God. And in the same verse, the same um, logic, he is not the father of any of your men. Seminal, that word comes from the word uh, semen. And that's exactly what it intends to suggest that the transfer of knowledge is an insemination. That's a distortion and therefore a vulgarity. Because man, human society, has another term that must be understood and must be associated with that process of insemination. And that is what? Artifice. Artificial. Inorganic. Not real for its purpose. So seminal mind is not justified by circumcision of the mind. Circumcision of the mind is to make reference to and commentary on God's purpose for man as established in Abraham. Seminal mind is the introduction of commentary on that process that is the distortion by the Western world. They are not the same. One is not justified by the other. One is true. One is purposeful. The other is untrue and artificial. And if you want to suggest that my mind or your mind or any of our minds were inseminated by Imam W.D. Muhammad, then you're not following the tradition of Muhammad the prophet. You're following the Western tradition because Muhammad is not the father of any of your men. Imam W. D. Muhammad never described himself as the father of his people. He described his father as a father of the African American people. Before you pull out your dull sword with me, you better know who you're dealing with. Because I'll take that dull sword that you got and melt it down and make it a sacred weapon against your falsehood. 
In fact, I'll take it from you. You wielding that thing in me, I won't even have, I don't even have to pull out any sword that I've been given. I'll just take that one from you and make it for it, and melt it for its, melt it and put it in, in, in the, in the, uh, um, uh, mold for human excellence as taught by Imam W.D. Muhammad. Ain't no reason for me to battle with you. I just take it from you. You ever seen that guy, you know, in the, in the battle, he come out with his weapon, you know, and the man who has uh, uh, more experience and a higher level of understanding, he just steps in his in his in his space and disarms him, and then looks at him with his weapon. You you, you need some more lessons, fella. Here, let me show you what this can be used for. Let me go and dismantle it and put it in the fire and reform it. Now I'm going to give it back to you. Now use it for a good purpose now. But don't make that mistake. Don't bring it out of, on me anymore. 